I love that with the belts, we both, we both have this kind of Western yes. chic thing going on. I did this for you. I totally, I totally <laughs> called her and you are your Western chic. Um, so where's the most exciting place that you've been, like you've traveled to though? Uh, I've been to quite a few places, thank God. I've been I've been blessed with that. Um, yeah. But I have to say, Dubai. I've never been to Dubai. It was. Have you been to Dubai? Insane. Uh, only at night. I flew in at night and kind of was waiting for a connection. I never really saw the city. Okay, it that does dark, not count. It was dark. It was nighttime. No. It, it looked pretty good to me. Yeah. No, that does it, not it, count. It, 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 <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Dubai is one of those cities that rose up out of nothing. Yeah. Somebody thought it would be a good idea to make this huge metropolitan oasis with the most improbable architecture <laughs> in go. the world. Everybody says this. It's the most yeah. interesting place. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. yeah. And it does feel like it's almost like in a, in a different year or time. It's a different time. It's a different planet. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes yeah. you get out into the desert and there, there we are. There's me and my honey jumping from a sand dune. Oh my God. <laughs> See, now this is my thing with sand. I don't go. do sand. Um, mm. You just find it. It's like glitter. It's like yeah. you find it for days. A week later. In every yeah. crack. Yeah. 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 But, yeah. but it's, it's Dubai sand. You know what? I've never tried so Dubai sand. Try Dubai sand. <laughs> yeah. It could be different. Like, it sounds like an ad. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> try Dubai sand. <laughs> try Dubai sand. <laughs> um, your teenage daughter posted this TikTok where she dressed you in her clothes. Yep. First of all, you look fabulous. That challenge. I know, you, that looks like you would just wear that on a Tuesday. You're so cute. You do not have a normal mom body. Um, whose idea was that to do oh, that? That was hers. Oh, hers. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was absolutely 100% Delilah. Oh, my God. Yes, and I was happy to do it because okay. if, if anybody out there has a teenager or has lived through having a teenager, then you know they're elusive and if they want you, oh, <laughs> if they like, want to spend sure. time with you, yeah. you actually, you absolutely grab a hold of that, oh. that time. Yeah, so I was happy to do it. Made me, made me feel special and worthy. Oh, I'm a little <laughs> scared. My daughter's eight. She still likes me and wants to do things. You see, yes, yeah. yes. There's a lot of sweetness still. There's okay. a lot of sweetness in there. Bank okay. it. Bank it. Remember, yeah. like, put pictures of them and their chubby cheeks, like, when they're young, <laughs> like, at hand. Like, keep them handy. Yeah. Because you'll need it. Oh, That's no. That's good currency. Yeah, she's yeah. so independent. She's going to want nothing to do with me. Um, please tell me that Dan has styled you before and for TikTok, please. <laughs> no, he, he, he uh, not for TikTok. Not for TikTok. He did, he did style me once uh, a few years ago for, for some opening I, I premiere, you know, one, one of the things. And he did dress me, but, you know, <clears throat> um, I, was, uh, going, uh, I was going out of town. I was waiting for the car to take me to the airport. And I, you know, I, I used to put on a shirt and tie and jacket, uh, you know, jeans, that kind of thing. But yeah. I was into that. He walks out one day. He was four. And he looks at me standing, waiting for the uh, car, and I, he's looking at me, and I said, what is it, Daniel? He said, from here up, great. <laughs> from here down, gross. Gross! I said, you don't like the jeans with the, with the thing? <laughs> he was four. My and he has the greatest sense of style now. He does. He's, yes, he he's does. a fashion icon. Amazing. My my six and eight year old will call. Literally, we were going to dinner. My friend is in the building hearing this right now, and we were about ready to go. And my son looked at me. He's six, and he looked at me. and He goes, "So, are you gonna go get ready?" <laughs> oh. I was like, mm, oh. um, sorry, but I look really cute right now. I was like, uh. what? I was like, I looked really cute Nirvana grunge. I thought I was pulling uh. it off. And like, I literally come straight from work. And then my daughter comes around the corner, not kidding. Didn't even hear Remy say it. And River comes around the corner and she's like, were well, are you going like that? And I was like, what the hell uh. is wrong with me? Uh. My, uh, my friends were there. Okay. I went just like that. Good. I'll have you know. Good. You did not bully me into changing. Yes, um, they're brutal. Let's, uh, let's, they are let's, brutal. I'm going to hold on to it, though. At least they're looking at me paying attention. Um, <laughs> let's talk about 911 Star. So you play a paramedic captain. So yes. did you have to do training for that? Uh, no, not not necessarily. Okay. No, they were. How do you look uh, like you're doing it right? Well, thank you. Okay, yeah. How do you do that? How do you do that? We have an amazing, an amazing med tech mm. on the set oh. at all times that takes us through all the procedures and, and and, and, uh, and you know the rescue of the day. 
Um, That's but cool. when I started, I mean, they were already, you know, they were already rolling on the tracks. I came in season two, so they didn't have a whole lot of time yeah. <laughs> to catch me up. But they did bring me into this giant room with like two banquet tables, and they were full of all the kind of um, instruments and equipment and like splints and and uh, uh, stuff. Forceps and see, all the things. Right? All you the can things. see. Yeah. Yes, the extensive <laughs> training that I've gone through. You don't want to get too technical. All that yeah. I don't, don't want to get too technical. Yes, I don't want to intimidate want you, you with my knowledge <laughs> of what I'm doing. Um, but uh, I'm such a teacher's pet yeah. that all I want to do is make her happy. Yeah. <laughs> and she loves me because I retain all that stuff. Oh, see, I don't so retain So I can well. retain it. I'm like, okay, this is what it is. And then there's like the medical jargon, which is a whole other thing. And then you have to like be in the moment and it's all happening so fast. But she loves me because I just want to please her. Yeah. <laughs> and I retain it and I'm able to get in there and, and make it look convincing enough. You do a great job of that. Thank you. So what can you tell us about this new season though? It's fabulous. Okay. Yeah, it's more more yeah, right. Good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Fans of the show. Um, last season we started off with a big freeze. Yeah. This season it's another weather event, but it's the opposite. It is heat. It is a uh, uh, another weather phenomenon. Um, and we have great guests. We have epic saves and rescues um, and maybe a little romance. Oh, I like it. A little romance, yeah. yes, yes, with, uh, with Tommy Vega, so that's good. Coming nice. out of her shell a little bit more, so that's always fun to play. I love that, yeah. all right.